we ready? Are we ready? Cause it's Thursday, yeah, yeah. Because it's Thursday, yeah, yeah. Because it's Thursday, yeah, yeah. Because it's Thursday, yeah, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. This is EBS Live. person I know is my mom because she just hates people lying to her and so she really never tells lies she's the most honest person I know and I love her so much I've seen a bunch of different land acknowledgments including at my younger sibling's school and it got me thinking why do we do them and are they meaningful especially to indigenous people I don't really know what they're doing other than acknowledging. I think that's always one of the challenges with these as well is, and then what? So here's the acknowledgement. What are we doing with that? And that's, that's not clear here, but um, again, I think it's always a good start. And Natalie Rastul, whose TikTok we watched earlier, thinks... It's about making your words and transforming it into action. That's what I believe. So when I posted my video, that's kind of what I wanted to come across and saying we need to do more than just saying this was your land. Thank you very much kind of thing.
Good morning, EBS. Good morning, and it's nice to be back. I'm so excited because today is Miss Match Day, and I didn't have to look for my matching socks today. That saved me five minutes. Well, that is fantastic, and I hope everyone at EBS is joining in the fun of being Miss Match today. I actually did some online shopping to find socks that don't match. Wait, you had to shop? Why not just wear socks that don't match? Oh, right. I should have thought of that. Cheer days are so much fun. I know. And teachers, you can send your pictures to Miss Flood so we can see everyone Miss Bash next week. It's such a great community we have here at EBS. Oh yes, so great. Have a match Miss Day, everyone. Have a mismatch day, everyone. talking about whales you're probably thinking that's so random but there's nothing wrong about whales whales are actually very cool animals if you think about it like how many whales are there why do they live in water without further ado let's get into it the largest mammal in the world. They live up to 80 to 90 years old. They can be up to 80 to 100 feet long and weigh 440,000 pounds. They eat krill and copepods as food. Orca whales have a simple color palette of black and white. Orcas usually have black on their back and fins and white around their stomachs and around their eyes. In the wildlife, orcas usually live for 50 to 70 years. Male orcas are six to eight meters while females are five to seven meters long. Here are some facts about narwhals. Narwhals can live up to 50 years, but their average lifespan is about 30 to 40 years. While narwhals get older, their color changes with their age. They can change color into blue, black, mottled gray, and even nearly white when they're old. If you didn't know, the narwhal's tusks are actually teeth since they have up to 10 million nerve endings on the inside. Sperm whale. They live up to 60 years. They can be 16 meters long. Sperm whales eat squid, sharks, skates, and fishes. Bowhead whales are capable of living for over 200 years. One of the reasons they live so long is due to their gene mutations that have been thought to manipulate cell growth, which helps them increase cancer resistance. Bowhead whales have thick skulls that allows them to break through big chunks of ice around two feet. There are currently 10,000 bowhead whales. 90% of these whales are located in, western, in the western region of Canada's Antarctica. Let's take a look at fin whales. Believe it or not, but fin whales are the second largest whale species in the whole entire world. It's estimated that there are less than 100,000 fin whales left on Earth. Yikes, that is a pretty less amount. Fin whales are the fastest of all great whales. They swim up to 23 miles per hour. That brings us to the end of this Data Thursday talking about whales. We hope you've learned something new and interesting that you can share with your families and friends. See you next Thursday. Yes, we are having our second family with Tracy and Wellness Night. That's amazing. The last one was so good. Oh, really? I missed it. I'm definitely going to this one. What's happening at that Wellness Night? The theme is creating kindness. There will be a read aloud of the book, Kindness is My Superpower, and bring your art supplies to make a kindness card. I'm so going to go there. And when is this happening? Well, it's on Wednesday, November 29th at 6 p.m. And can I find a link on the parent newsletter? Yes, you can. This is going to be so great. And I'm 
we see you at the next location night? I hope so. Yes, I hope to be there too. Bye, EZS. Bye, EZS. between all three of us before we get on, but I will share some truth because it's important to be honest. Mrs. Merwar is a family of six and we have a lot of feet in our home and often we don't have matching socks. And so there are times in the winter when inside our boots, nobody knows that there's a lot of mismatched socks happening in the Merwar household. How are you two ladies doing today? <laughs> I am doing fantastic. Mrs. Murr, I want to add on to your story about how, because you're a bigger family, you will often always have mismatched socks. So that was a problem also in the Cardozo house. So what I did was I threw out everybody's socks and I only bought white and black socks. So now, when I'm doing laundry, I only have to separate by color. <laughs> Love that. Well, let me yeah, tell you my story. So mine is a small family and I always have matching socks. I purposely make sure I can find them. And if one is missing, it's probably in the dryer or somewhere. Because it's, it's not lost, it's just missing for a moment. So when I saw the mismatched socks, I was like, oh. But I, you know what? I'm going to have to start changing my habit a little and maybe try mismatched socks just to change things a little because sometimes I'm in a, in a habit and I do the same things over and over and sometimes I need to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to try wearing mismatched socks, which means that when I put them together after laundry, I'm going to try to put them together purposefully that they're not matching. Well, who would have known that an EBS Spirit Day of mismatched socks would bring such riveting <laughs> conversation to our morning show? I want to turn our minds to yesterday and the beautiful message that Miss Kiriati had challenged the entire school on making sure that we sent positive messages and used our chats as a positive space for learning and building community. And I just want to say a great big thank you to each and every one of you, and you know who you are, that sent me such heartfelt, and me. sincere, and beautiful comments that really did truly make me feel so motivated to keep on going. Yesterday was a long day at work and they just kept coming. And it was like fueled energy to make myself feel that I am here to serve each and every one of you every day. So thank you for that. And so tell me, VPs of EBS, what types of messages did you get yesterday? I got fantastic messages from some of our teachers showing me the kind messages that students were sending to one another. And why stop just at yesterday? Let's continue this today. And I want to also encourage teachers, teachers, use the Teams chat. Send a message, say something kind, say something thoughtful to someone outside of your team today. And let's keep that kindness and that positivity going. Fantastic. Well, we're looking at the time. Miss Cummings, take it away and send off our community with super smiles. Go ahead. 
Well, EVS, it is Thursday. I know lots of you have interviews tonight, so you get to share all the amazing things you've been doing so far this year with your families and with your teachers. And tomorrow, no school for all of you, which is so amazing. Long weekend. Have a fantastic day and great weekend. Bye. Bye, EVS. <laughs>